So I'm going to talk now a little bit about how cool it is that the strings on the cello are laid out in fifths, or the violin family. So if I'm playing a piece in G major on the cello, this is my tonic string, my dominant string, chord five. My subdominant string dominates from five below. Remember, it's not the subdominant because it's one below the dominant. It's dominant, tonic, subdominant. So it's kind of giving you a new perspective on the, on the tonic, if you like. And up here, if I want it, is the dominant of the dominant, um, or chord two. So I'm going to make up with this idea that, that performers were performers, composers, improvisers, all in one. I'm going to make up here on the spot a little study composition variation whatever you like based on a an early classical tune called that you might be familiar with called twinkle twinkle little star so here's my here's my simple open string bass line that shows you my tonic dominant subdominant the, the three or maybe four chords that i'll need so twinkle twinkle little star idea. Now with that kind of uh, simple basis I can put my kind of guitar type buskers chord positions in and I can make a little pattern that I can vary so that's a nice one for instance but but someone else thought of that so I'm not going to do that one. In fact, I might borrow that one from Duport. Twinkle, twinkle. So that's that's my kind of very simple version, just using root position chords. Now I can make I can kind of jazz it up a little bit just by adding some inversions. So I can I can this is my and for any late 18th, 19th century cellist, these inversions of chords were the kind of thing that they used on a daily basis in opera houses to accompany recitative. Um, so, and often, often they've got that kind of first inversion feeling to them. So I'm going to drop those into my twinkle twinkle variation. <laughs> Um, it's already becoming a little bit more um, kind of rich in the kind of number of chords and how it sounds. But I can also add some kind of secondary chords which don't fall strictly un under this kind of 12 bar blues type 1, 4, 5, 2 kind of basis. I can add some more little chords that will make it a little bit more uh, colourful. <laughs> Now all I've done is add a little this, this B minor chord here takes me around a little cycle of fifth and here it is so my bass sound is going etc down off the end of the cello so the the arrangement of the strings in fifths is helping me it's supporting me to think in a harmonic way um, to add to the kind of layer of complexity that I'm doing with my, with my basic simple melody. Um, and what I'm saying is that this kind of study that people like Dupont came up with, um, the question is not how did they write so many studies, the question is how did they manage to cram all of the creativity and the technical creativity that they had into so few of those studies and sets of variations. <laughs>